welcome back friends in this video tutorial we'll be learning exponential growth in population we're talking about the population uh, genetics and population ecology and here we'll be talking about the population growth curves and there are two different types of population growths that are possible one is the exponential growth another one is the logistic growth exponential growth is also known as j-shaped growth curve so see here j-shaped curve this is the example of exponential growth so where is it okay okay so this is the j-shaped curve that we're talking about exponential growth curve means in this case if you see uh, the curve first you'll see that this is the beginning now in any kind of growth curve we have time in the x-axis and number of individuals in the y-axis and you see as the curve is rising that means the individuals are also the number of individuals are also rising with time this is called exponential you know exponential means without any control it is rising and rising and rising so you see it starts with a very low number of individuals at the beginning definitely not be zero slightly better than zero let's say a population starts with five cats now the cat content is 70 so you see constantly it is rising right because of new births and low number of deaths so this is giving us a curve that looks like uh, the english alphabet j so that's why you call it a j shaped growth curve so now let's return here a J-shaped growth curve, if you see, it is a, a responsible, I mean, it is telling us about the fact that the population is emerging and the population is dividing and rising very, 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 very fast. So, say uh, the, the exponential growth or the rate of exponential growth, which is denoted with capital G, is known as the population growth rate or the rate of the population, rate, I mean, growth rate of the population, capital G equals to small r multiplied with capital N. Here small r is the intrinsic rate of increase for an organism. Intrinsic rate of increase means uh, obviously uh, in adulthood of an organism, the organism will grow and divide, it will produce offsprings, right? So from on one organism it produces two, from those individuals it produces more and more, so on it will produce individuals after individuals over time. So this is a division of the organisms and individuals that are being produced and this is called the intrinsic growth rate that is small r and this intrinsic growth rate depends on two things one is the rate of birth and is the rate of, rate of death right so obviously if the birth rate is higher than the death rate in that case obviously the population will rise because the intrinsic growth rate r more, more than one or so now, if the death rate is higher than birth rate, obviously the R or intrinsic growth will be less, right? So, the population will not grow, it will go to the decline. So, this is the formula and capital N is the population size, that is the start point of the population. So, now, let's move on to the next slide. Okay. See here, if you begin with it. Uh, the formula to calculate the number of individuals that we find after each division is 2 to the power n. n is the number of uh, divisions, the so number of reproductive cycle that is uh, account for. For example, here begins with number of individuals 1, right? Now, number of cell divides and now the second division 1. So, 1 division means 2 to the power 1, it will be number of individuals 2. After second division, it will be 2 to the power 2. After four such divisions, it will be 2 to the power 4 and so on. If you see the number of divisions arise and number of individuals arising in double exponentially. That's why it's called exponential growth curve because uh, individuals every time it gets doubled in nature. That's called the exponential growth curve. And this is true for certain organisms like bacteria. Bacteria have this exponential growth curve. So, they start with one, then that one cell will divide in two, that each of those one, one cell from two will divide in two to get four and from four to eight, eight to 16, 16 to 32, 32 to 64, 64 to 128, it doubles every time. So, you can imagine after certain divisions how many number of individuals it will produce a lot, right? So, that is the exponential growth. Now, exponential growth is observed 
uh, for bacteria but not throughout their lifespan because in, in environment exponential growth can never be sustained every time because obviously for the rapid growth it needs to have a positive r value that is the intrinsic rate growth intrinsic rate value and this intrinsic growth rate r depends on the environmental factors that is the availability of food and water in the environment availability of the habitat in the environment now each environment is destined to provide a specific amount of food water and habitat only and that is called the carrying capacity of the environment that is uh, the number of individuals that an environment can uh, support for their life and growth right beyond that limit environment will not provide any food or shelter as a result the organisms will die slowly start to die once the environmental factors get saturated the organisms will slowly start to die and this 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 graph slowly start to balance off right and once that thing happens you see the curve now looks like s once that thing happens then this s shaped curve is known as logistic growth curve okay but now this is the exponential growth curve will well the division is exponentially and how if we begin in the basic rate that is a population size started with 500 individuals for example where we see r equals 0 because it is the start point now if the intrinsic rate is in plus value that is point very very less 0 0.02 for example the intrinsic rate is low but obviously the individuals slowly start to grow and rise if the intrinsic rate is higher they will rise more and more if it is more higher it is rise more and more and so on right but if the intrinsic rate gets less than one i mean in minus well less than zero is in minus value like minus 0 0.05 that means they have a negative intrinsic rate that means here in this population the organisms are dying more than born right so their mm, death rate is higher than birth rate so obviously the population will go down the individual number of individuals will go down and that is the end of that population so this is uh, the idea behind uh, the exponential growth and i hope you help uh, i hope this video helps you if this help you please uh, like button hit the like button uh, share this video with your friends and definitely hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like this for free thank you